taping. <laughs> okay. Good morning and welcome to Mam Talks. I'm Kathy. I'm Jan. I'm Anna. And show your love to us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then you can join us because today we're talking about what your favorite foods say about you. Oh, there's so many There's meaning foods. There's meaning. Who knew? So here's what we found out. Who likes mac and cheese? Well, who doesn't? doesn't? Well, and they've it's got all good. the different ones. I mean, I think some people go back to the craft, that box of mac and cheese. Kids and that's that. Beca- and that's because it reminds them of their childhood. It's like they want to stay connected to that, so they have their mac and cheese. Okay, Anna, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> what about steak and potatoes? You ever heard someone say, I'm a steak and potato guy? That I, I like steak, steak mm-hmm. but I always eat rice because that's what Cubans do. Well, they say that it's all about yeah. being straightforward and honest with what you want and how you view the world. Black, well, that, black and white, steak and potatoes, right and wrong. That would uh, definitely describe my husband. There you go. Steak okay. So what else? Sour foods. Okay, you know what they, they talk about sour foods? Like those sour candies? Like mm-hmm. yummy? Yes. Oh, I don't know. I that. like those. What do they say about them? Jane? They say, they, that you're on edge, <laughs> restless, and anxious. Oh, there we go. There yep, she is. There I am. Give me my sour gummies. <laughs> what How else? about a sweet tooth? Oh, I got that too. That just says that you're friendly, pleasant, outgoing, and agreeable. Look at her. Listen just to her. like Kathy. Oh, I thought she's, you were going to say she's, she's, trying to oh, say oh, she's trying to say herself. Now, what about sushi? Sushi, which is my favorite food, it says that you're all about spontaneity and adventure. And when I think of sushi, I think of these millennials. I remember we used to go to Jack in the Box for our food. Oh, I thought you were going to say for sushi. <laughs> no, and now these millennials are all out getting their sushi. They're I don't like them. sushi. But it's mm-hmm. not just sushi. I mean, sushi is just a representation of that right. mindset. I think it's like Ethiopian food and Pakistani food and Thai food and, you know, all these different foods that we're all willing to try if you're an adventurous, very spontaneous person. What about... Chocolate. Oh, who doesn't chocolate. like chocolate? chocolate? You know who doesn't like chocolate? <laughs> who? My daughter has never liked oh. chocolate. Oh, what does it say about you? Not an M&M. Or nothing. about us. <laughs> that you're soft and romantic. Yes. yes. It's the dessert for lovers. Oh, well. And it makes you feel sensual and sexy. She's very happily married. <laughs> Are you still on about that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about salads? I love salads. And people always say, what are you, a rabbit? I like salads. I do like salads. It's it's good. And it's good for you. But it's not my favorite food. But it's healthy. And it's saying, I'm going to take care of this body. Treat it like the temple it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they say. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. you know, digressing for a moment. As you do. As I do, yes. So my two-year-old grandson was learning his shapes. Okay, and he picked out circle, and he picked out square, and then there was triangle, and we said, what's that? And he goes, pizza. (laughs) And I was going to save that one for last. The pizza. Okay. Because it's the most addictive addictive one. I do love pizza. I do. It says that you might be an extrovert. Yes. And it's the ultimate party food. It's convenient, it's cheap, you can serve a lot of people for not too much money, and it's a quick, you know, go-to dish. I I like pizza. And that seems to be the one dish that a lot of little kids will gravitate to. Oh, absolutely. It's easy to eat. It's, what is it, cheese and bread and some sauce. Not a big deal. Granted, I have two of my three grandchildren that scrape off everything and eat the soggy bread. (laughs) Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what about that? I've heard this for a long time, like hard, crunchy, like... I need a carrot. Like it's almost like you're angry and you need to kind of crunch some food or just frustrated or no, can't say no. as I've Well that's what they say. Okay. That's what they say. What about super that you're spicy? Just, that, that you're just mad then? Is that what that means? Well you're you just wanna... feeling like like <clears throat> like yeah. Get a carrot. You know, I, I must say, and I think it's a California thing, but as the years progress, I like spicier and spicier and spicier. I like spicy food. food. Yeah. I like... What do they say about spicy food? They say that you're intense. <laughs> Very appropriate. You can be intense. Mm-hmm. You're bungee, bungee jumping junkie. Yeah. Well, right? maybe that's why I don't like spicy food. Because you're not intense? I'm not. No. How about 
something like soft and pudding, ice cream, jello. They kind of say that's like being home again, like your kind of comfort food, similar to that. Flan. I do love flan. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have one that they didn't mention. It's in the chocolate kind of family that's more specific. Of course she does. Yes, of course she does. Mm -hmm. M&M's. Who doesn't love a handful of M&M's? Any kind. M &Ms. The mm -hmm. caramel ones are oh, to I like the so ones with good. the peanuts. But Anna, do you like the green ones? I don't look at the color. Are there any green? Yeah, there are. Really? Do you like the green ones? Do you like to give people green ones? What's going on? <laughs> what about the green ones? <laughs> I like the green ones. What does that say about you, Jan? What does it say? <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> it says you're afraid? Yes. Who are you afraid of? It's you. <laughs> what does it say? Yes. Well, I'm they very say afraid. that if you eat the green ones, it mm -hmm. makes you horny. Why? I don't know, Anna. I'll do that research for next week. I'm just telling you. I just wanted to see I'm if there was something. that one up. I was looking to see if there was something we could just kind of pull over. Shock Anna. Because she, yeah, she doesn't. She's very naive. I don't naive. believe it. I don't believe it. Well, I, I heard it, and I've read it. It's true. Well, yeah, Jan knew read about it. it. Jan knew about it. And if it's online, yeah, they all taste the same. No, have you tested? <laughs> um, I will the take theory. the fifth on this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Don't forget to click those share and like buttons. Be sure to subscribe to Man Talks on YouTube and check out our website www.mamtalks.com and. Let us know what your favorite foods are, your comfort foods, or your quick go-to foods, or what color M&Ms you like. <laughs> Have yourself a great day. Remember to embrace getting older with us. Bye. Bye.